It's a lot 632 right now. Way 31 is your official information station when it comes to all things back to school. Three districts in our area are starting their academic school years this morning. We have you covered border to border. Way 31, Sarah Phillips is live in Sheffield this morning where city school students are gearing up to head back to class. We'll check in with her in just a moment, but first we start with Way 31's Ashley Carter this morning. She's live in Athens at their bus garage as drivers getting ready to head out and pick up students for their first day of school. Ashley? I just counted nine buses have already hit the road to pick up students and a couple of more of these buses behind me are getting ready to join them. Now there expect more than 500 students to ride the bus this morning and here are some changes they can expect when they get on. Each student will be assigned a seat on the bus. Students will load from the back to the front so they don't have to pass each other. An employee will board on bus will be on board the buses today to show students their seats, check them for symptoms, and hand out masks if needed. Each of the buses behind me have signs on the bus reminding students that if they have a fever or any coronavirus symptoms to not get on the bus. But if a student does start to show symptoms when they're already on board, the buses have a quarantine seat for them to sit in until they arrive at school. Live in Athens, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News. Ashley, thank you so much. Staying in Limestone County right now, while Athens City Schools prepare to begin classes, a school within the Limestone County School District will keep its doors closed for the week. We're talking Elkmont High School. They're going to transition to online learning after 10 students and three faculty members tested positive for coronavirus. The school district started its school year just less than two weeks ago. Happening